Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. My dear friends, we love you so very much, so many of you have heard us discussing the importance of your vibration these past few years. Not one of you was taught in childhood that your actions matter far less than your energetic vibration. Only a few of you were encouraged to follow your inner compass rather than striving to please others. It is no wonder that embracing the 5D paradigm is challenging for so many of you. Today, we want to help and encourage you, explain things more deeply, and give you a new game to play to help you learn more about the power of your tuning. Imagine that you have a dream in your heart. Imagine now that there is a movie on television about how you got from where you are now to the fulfillment of this dream. It is a lovely movie of synchronicity, joy, and triumph. We're pretty sure you'd want to watch this movie. Now, on a different channel entirely, there is a news broadcast. It repeatedly tells you about your past, present, and the people around you as they are now. It shares new about the world around you, as it is now. It has no understanding of manifestation. As a result, when it projects into the future, it simply rehashes the present or past. It is not so likely you'd prefer to watch this channel. Now, suppose you have a magic tuner. When you think of something that makes you happy, you tune into the beautiful movie about your life unfolding gracefully. When you think of something that makes you feel unhappy, the good movie pauses, and you tune into the depressing news station right at a moment when it matches your own negative thoughts. As you can imagine, on a daily basis, most of you would switch between the good movie and the depressing news a thousand times, if not more. Understanding that the good movie only plays while thinking thoughts that feel good, many of you could easily infer that you'd never reach the end. Back and forth, back and forth you go. In reality, this is how many of you live your lives. You are the first generation to become aware of the value of your tuning. You are learning a new skill. It is reasonable to expect that you'd have to try, try, try again before learning to value your feelings and tune into things that feel better. It takes time, persistence and practice to develop a new habit. Give yourself grace. Now, suppose you really want to see your happy ending. Like a young child playing a video game, you start practicing your tuning skills. You play with your thoughts to find ones that feel good. You challenge yourself to see if you can find something that feels good enough to make the good movie start playing once again. You start to notice thoughts that knock you out of it. Little by little, as frustrating as it might be at first, you learn to manage your tuning until you can watch the good movie for long stretches of time and when you fall away from it, you become more confident in your ability to tune into the good and see it play once again. Eventually, with practice, you become so good at tuning that you can watch that good movie to its completion. Dear ones, your life is that good movie waiting for you to tune into it. Most of you learn to tune into the past or the present in front of you, no matter how good or unpleasant it feels. Rarely were you taught to care more about how you feel. Can you imagine? You want a relationship, and instead of focusing on it, because it sends you into that oscillation of vibration, you challenge yourself instead to find things to love about life, to find ways to share love in life, and little by little without even trying to manifest a relationship, you tune into that good movie with all its happy endings. You aren't settling for feeling just okay even though you don't have what you want. That resignation gets you more of the news. Instead, challenge yourself to find ways to feel good here and now with what you have. You can use your brilliant mind to choose one of a gazillion possible good feeling thoughts right here and now. You can notice and appreciate the sun on your face. You can marvel at the busy little bees that pollinate your crops so you can eat. You can ponder the amazing connection with millions of people who poured their love into the coffee you pour into the cup. You can sit, breathe and receive our love and assistance. Daily, you are surrounded by millions of small opportunities to feel good. 
It makes little sense to deprive yourself of the good feelings and the good movie that will lead to the good ending simply because you are upset that the good ending is not here now. You all want to be happy. Choose it now and now and now again, and the good movie will play, bringing you even more. Some of you feel this isn't fair, and we understand. However, you cannot apply human law to a universe that operates in terms of vibration and expect it to function as a human being would. As a result, it is hard for so many of you to trust the universe to deliver your dreams. We understand. As these new concepts have been introduced into human consciousness, many of you still embraced the 3D paradigm of doing while trying to apply it to the 5D laws of being. You learn to fake it till you make it. If doing so helps you achieve the vibration of what you want, we encourage this. However, you can't fake vibration. No amount of action, fake positivity or acting as if will matter if it doesn't make you feel wonderful. Far better, as a few of you have said over the years, to f asterisk number, it till you make it. Ignore any dreams you can't feel good about and focus on things that feel better. Did we, the angels, just say that? Yes, dear ones. We say it with love, humor and a realization that many of you will feel more inspired by shifting your focus than by trying harder to feel good about a topic you do not yet feel good about. If you can't feel good about the relationship you've been trying to manifest forever that still hasn't arrived, focus on anything and everything else that feels better. You torment yourselves, trying to feel good about what does not. Look away. Turn the other cheek. Find happiness where it is easy to find, and let your vibration rise naturally. So many of you learn to visualize and it can be a wonderful tool if it helps you find the feeling you desire. If visualizing makes you feel worse because it makes you think more about what you do not yet have, it is better to visualize a good lunch that excites you. You learn to make vision boards. We love them if these bring you joy, empower you to anticipate your dreams, and raise your vibration. But if you look at a vision board and think every time, yeah, right, it never happens for me, then dear ones, take down the vision board and, in its place, put up an inspiring piece of art that elevates you every time you look at it. You learn to quiet your mind and meditate, but if attempting that frustrates you, find an alternative. Listen to music you love. Take a walk cook a good meal. If you honestly try, each of you can find something that quiets the negativity and allows you to be present in the moment. Don't give up and say that you can't. You can. You just have to exercise your God-given power of choice and experiment a bit until you find your own way of feeling present and good. You learn to be good and do good, and we completely encourage that because it is your nature to love, but when your loving actions cease to feel like love, then cease doing them. If you are helping an ungrateful friend, it may feel wonderful for a while, but when it stops feeling wonderful, stop doing it or find a reason to feel good once again. So many of you have given so much you feel bitter and resentful that others don't give back, but dear ones, you are the ones who chose to continue giving when it no longer felt good. You are the ones who chose to pour your heart more into others' lives than your own. So many of you learned that it is better to give than to receive when, in reality, it is better to be in a balanced flow filling than spilling, filling than spilling. The more you receive from spirit, the more you want to give. The more you give, the more you want to receive from the divine. Watch and listen to your feelings to help you stay in this flow. As you learn to be more honest about your feelings, you will give when it is a joy, and refill the well when needed. As your vibration becomes one of giving joyfully, you will attract others who are in the vibration of giving joyfully as well. But if your vibration is one of giving because you have to or should, even when, sigh, you don't feel like it, then you will instead attract others who feel equally empty and want you to give to them, as you want them to give back to you. It is a misunderstanding to think that because you give, you will attract others who give. This would be a law of doing but the universe operates on the law of vibration. 
There is no law of doing. There is no law in the universe that says if you do more, the universe will do more for you. There is no law that says if you constantly do good, you'll constantly receive good. There is no law that says if you give, you'll receive. There is only vibrational law. No matter what you do, the energy with which you do it matters infinitely more than the actions themselves. If you shop for shoes feeling abundant, you'll attract more abundance than if you tithe with, sigh, a feeling of righteous martyrdom. If you indulge in your favorite activities with joy or explore new ones that delight, you'll meet a partner sooner than if you trudge unhappily through online dating sites. If you love the hunt and the idea of meeting several new people each weekend and sorting through them, you could easily meet someone on a dating site, but few of you honestly feel that way. God has arranged meetings for centuries. Your doing is not important. Your vibration is. If you are healing a physical condition and you love your doctors and the care they provide, they are likely to work well for you. If you mistrust doctors but love alternative therapies, those will likely work better for you. If you would rather ignore your condition and focus on other things that bring you joy, that will bring you joy and quite possibly healing, too. What does not work is focusing on thoughts that feel bad and forcing yourself to do things that go against your grain. Even if you were to die, you would have lived happily until you transitioned happily and moved on into a blissfully happy reality. Your eternal journey can be fun now. Your eternal journey can be happy now. The only thing that matters, dear ones, regarding what you will see in your future is vibration. Be kind to yourselves. You are courageous adventurers. You have incarnated on the earth during some of the biggest paradigm shifts humanity has seen in recorded history. You are learning to be tuners rather than doers and to allow your actions to be born of joy and inspiration. God bless you. We love you so very much.